Hello， 大家好，我系 Professor Lisa Lang， 我系岭南大学文化研究系嘅一个老师。我哋文化研究其实咧都系一啲即系直住从日常生活啦，所接触嘅东西，包括系媒体啦。誒普及文化啦，甚至係一啲嘅誒生活性嘅一啲嘅課題咧，去思考一啲更加大嘅啲議題，誒包括文化啦、社會啦、政治啦，甚至經濟嘅啲課題嘅。而我哋嘅課程嘅特色咧，就係、是、誒不斷係去邀請一啲唔同嘅一啲業界嘅人士啦，嚇，甚至係一啲嘅即係誒知名啲嘅人士咧，去進入我哋嘅課堂裏邊咧，係作出佢哋嘅分享。而誒，我哋咧即將會係推出一系列嘅一啲嘅短片咧，係記錄一啲呢啲嘅誒所謂客席嘅分享咧，係誒希望可以誒令大家更加明白我哋嗰個課程嘅宗旨啦，以及係我哋一啲嘅課堂嘅內容，使到咧大家係即使未係去參與我哋嘅課堂咧，都可以更加了解我哋嗰個關注同埋我哋一啲嘅興趣嘅。咁、呃、或者你哋都可以係去 follow 我哋嗰個社交媒體嘅網站啦，係、啊、更加了解我哋呢、這個即係、就是、學士嘅課程嚇，同、啊、埋我哋一啲嘅即係科目嘅嚇。咁啊,啊，請大家去 enjoy。This is CUS Free Field One Four Hong Kong Popular Culture. This school aims to provide students with a critical introduction to popular culture in Hong Kong. Students will learn to assess for themselves the form, meaning, and significance of popular culture, as well as to analyze the foundation of the cultural and social identity of Hong Kong people through concrete case studies. Students will study popular culture as something more than leisurely entertainment, because this is a cultural process already inscribed in the relations of power. Students will be asked to analyze the politics of Hong Kong popular culture in its particular historical and geopolitical conditions, including marginal, post-colonial, post-modern, cosmopolitan, translational, and perpetually transiting. The course will draw on, but is not limited to this critical perspective, including post-colonial criticism, anthropological and sociological readings, gender theory, and media and film studies. Specific topics will be selected from areas such as the changing cultural status of Hong Kong through the post-war decades, Western and Asian influences, and the transformation of indigenous cultures, drama and TV as mass entertainment. The consumption and politics of popular music, electronic media, the print media, and the dichotomy between public and private. The breakdown of the distinction between culture and society. So we are living in cultural,、uh, I mean, media images, appearances, and style. So our social reality is mostly defined by images. Now, this is of course not an argument. So Hong Kong students, local students, oh well, not necessarily. I, I'm wrong. Uh, for non-local students, you probably you have visited this district in Hong Kong. This is Causeway Bay Sogo. What is the point of this image? The point is we are overwhelmed by images everywhere. Yeah, advertisements, commercial signs. We have the same site, same location, an empty street. Now this is a shot taken from the movie 2014 by Richard Patrick Chan. The midnight after, the midnight after. 咩那一年我搭了就望过去大埔都。Ben Ra, the Chinese title is long, 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 long. Okay. Anyway, the English title is the Midnight After. It's a crazy movie. It's yeah, a very political movie, a very meaningful movie. But a lot of people hated it because it doesn't make sense after all. It doesn't explain anything. Anyway, so this is very, very symbolic. Symbolic, especially to us living here and now, 2022, amid COVID-19 in Hong Kong. Because if you check Causeway Bay in the last two weeks, you see much, much less people than the regular or normal Causeway Bay outside Soho. We are living in new normal. Now, if you want to locate this、uh, scene in a movie, it is、uh, one hour and thirty-seven minutes. Okay. Now here is a still picture from the movie that came out in two thousand two. It's a very famous movie. It's also a zombie movie. It was Song Si Ping. So Danny Boy, yeah, one of the great directors. Twenty-eight、um, days later,、uh, this is、uh, from the beginning of the movie, an empty London.、Uh, scary. So the midnight after is kind of inspired by this a little bit. 
So some time in the future world, yeah, COVID-19 is uh, this kind of year. So when you compare and contrast the two things, okay, bingo. So this is some kind of future world, dystopian world in modernity. Now, in show business, in show biz, I go back to slide 25, we have a juxtaposition of Causeway Bay and London, empty, all empty from two movies. All right, so um, let's go back to the slide 69, 69. Now, uh, to run, uh, Yvonne, I think I need to overrun a little bit, but overrun for 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, I, I think the students could feel free as them. Now, now the story goes, it seems that the story goes, now, First, the movie at the end does not explain any connections, does not answer any questions that the spectators would have. Meaning that we that the movie itself does not give logical answers to all the questions and mystery raised in the movie. Now, the movie, you can call it sci-fi or dystopian. Now, around 10 people, one night, they were at Mong Pop. And then they bought it on a red van, the mini van, the public transport, traveling to Tai Po. But then while they, I mean, among the, uh, around the 10 passengers, each belongs to uh, different kinds of communities, social groups, and so on and so forth, different gender, young, old, and so on. Educated, not educated, good guys, bad guys, a sampling of Hong Kong people, actually. And, when they get through the tunnel, suddenly they were transferred to another time and space. Six years ago, six years in the future and so on. And then there's a mysterious guy with a gas mask. And toward the end of the movie, I, I, and then those characters, some of them got killed mysteriously. And then toward the end of the movie, it seems that there is a virus. And everybody rush, rushes into a supermarket and get the production gear and so on and so forth. Now here I have some points for you to note uh, in terms of genre the movie you could call it a horror it is about death it is a story that people get into another dimension and in terms of genre you may want or we would associate it with the final destination thing the final destination series from hollywood there is no escape from uh, death the god of death and there is no way to cheat death and we would also immediately associate the movie with 28 Days Later that I mentioned before. It is also a thriller. There's a lot of mis mysteries in the movie and uh, some bloody scenes, gory. And in a sense, it is post-apocalyptic. That is, they the, the, the characters uh, are transported to another time and space that is so dystopian. Okay? And then this, in the movie throughout, when they were, when the characters are transported to another time and space, they often hear radio communication, help, 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 help. There's no uh, logical explanation there. And the movie also cited David Bowie's song, that is about space travel and so on, pointing to some very absurd and realistic situation that those characters are facing. So in the, in, in the movie, um, they, they, there is also a kind of elements of the how because many of the events were not connected for cause and effect. There's no logical uh, reasoning. And there is a uh, reference to North Korean and then the Chinese, so er everything from those characters. And it is also a suspense, but it is intentionally made not a conventional type of well-made suspense. Well-made meaning that at the end, you will get every bit of detail, logically, more laid out. Okay. Of in homes, that's a Cantonese expression. The original title is uh, This is not standard written Chinese, uh, meaning that only goes to read with you. Okay. Now, of in homes, it is a criticism of the Hong Kong economy based on um, a real estate, okay. And people spend their whole life trying to buy an apartment and this and that. And the uh, protagonist is a real estate agent, a young guy who was a girlfriend is killed. And then there is an apartment, and a vacant apartment that the protagonist is trying to sell and that is haunted by a ghost. The ghost is very ugly and um, yeah, repugnant. And the ghost actually many, uh, some decades ago, 
killed his wife and buried his wife into one of the walls in the apartment. And the ghost is uh, very evil and he kills everybody and so on. So I am going to uh, show you, uh, I recommend this movie. It is very fruit churn, uh, very cult, very low budget, uh, with vulgar language and social criticism. So slide 78, slide 78, we have all the characteristics, okay, cult, low budget, a fast parody, vulgarity, it is very excessive, okay, it is always in excess, 